Hey everybody, uh, my name is Chris Petullo, uh, Chrissy Kills. Uh, I am the new bass player from The Silver Lining. Um, you guys had a bunch of questions to ask me, and a bunch of you did. And uh, I will start answering them for you now. Okay, so first question is, what is your favorite song to play? Uh, that is a good question. Uh, my favorite song to play on the bass? Um, Probably, which is just kind of weird, is a Hope Kills song that was my old band. Uh, my bass player for that, Jeremy Alfonso, wrote this little ditty that's super sweet, uh, and it's a lot of fun to play. So that would that actually might be it. Other than that, um, I don't know. I like to play, it, talking our band-wise, uh, my favorite song is probably Shotgun Wedding. Um, so I don't know, it's just a really hard song, and it's fun to play because we do the barrel roll and stuff like that in it. So that's probably the answer to that question. Next. Um, second question is, what's your favorite Pokemon? Uh, to be honest with you, I've never played that game. Uh, I never watched the show. Uh, I kind of don't know, but I heard, I've heard of some, and I'm going to say Charizard because that sounds really funny to me. <laughs> that sounds like the best answer to give right now. Everybody else would be like, Pikachu. Um, but yeah, Charizard. All right, so the next question is, if you're Matt's brother, then uh, why weren't you in the band when it first started? Uh, spoiler alert, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I am actually a drug addict. I am recovering, which is great. I'm not a functioning, you know, I'm, I don't still use, but uh, I definitely uh, did a little, little dibble dabble with that kind of good stuff. So before, you know, plus they already had all their members lined up, so I was kind of out of the picture a lot. Um, then when I got sober, I actually started like you know hanging out with them, going back to shows. Plus, it was really kind of tough to see my brother on stage without me to his left. So that was a little hard for me, but I got over that. And um, just started, like I said, going to a bunch of the shows, hanging out with the fellas. Uh, I've known Ben also, the guitar player, was in my old band, Hope Kills, as well. So I've known him for years. And... Um, I don't know, man. I was just sitting in the wings, just hanging out, you know, being a guitar tech and a bass tech and a drum tech and a mic checker, a Michael checker, if you will, and a uh, roadie. And then, you know, the the opportunity arose and it just kind of fell into place. So I hope that answers your question. <laughs> uh, so the next one is uh, Ashley wants a shout out. So what's up, Ashley? How you doing? Thanks for being a fan and asking questions. There you go. That's, that's all you get. Um, next question is... Um, it's what what's the uh, what type of gear do you use down to the strings? So uh, I'm actually rocking a uh, a four by ten fridge. No, six by ten. Eight by ten. Eight by ten. So all right. So all right. Shut the fuck up, motherfuckers. <laughs> this is gonna be great for the outtakes, by the way. I'm actually right now running a. Uh, Ampeg SVT3 Pro for my head. I have it's running through a, a, a Furman power conditioner with a cork tuner. Um, I have an Ampeg uh, 8x10, and then I'm running that through a uh, Sterling Stingray base, all black on black, uh, with chrome tuners. And then um, we uh, use Ernie Ball strings. So uh, yeah, next. The next question is, uh, how did I get into this band? And then sits on the floor for story time. It's not going to be that long. Uh, my brother is the lead singer. Uh, their bass player left. And uh, they were like, hey, man, we need to get a bass player. And I was like, well, I play bass. And they were like, cool, you're in. So honestly, it's just like that. So you can stop sitting on the floor for story time. Done. I'm hammering. The next question is, uh, what's the answer to life? Um, and I'll just leave you with this. Shut up! Next question is, uh, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? I don't know, a lot? Next one is, uh, describe Zach Oliver using three words. Uh, Harley, man, dude. Another one is, uh, who is your biggest musical influence? Um, how long have you been doing music? Uh, biggest musical influences? I started playing music when I was uh, nine years old because Green Day. Uh, I started playing the bass because of Mike Dirnt. Uh, after that, I moved on to listening to a lot of 311 and Incubus because they're really bass driven uh, and their bass players are actually super talented. So I listened to a lot of uh, Peanut from 311. And uh, so, you know, I just go from there. Um, 
and now it's just I listen to a lot of different stuff. Um, I don't really have one style of music, so it's it's really I, I don't know. I guess I would just say, you know, those those three bands kind of made me, you know, the musician I am today. And then I just use ins what inspires me is uh, beautiful sunsets. What happened to Marty? Uh, skip that. Yeah. Uh, the next question is, uh, how tall do I have to be to ride Zack Sidemans? <laughs> so uh, the answer to that is actually um, you have to be five, uh, five two and a half, um, and if you're over uh, five eight and uh, three sixteenths, then you're fucked. Next question is, do you like more peanut butter on your peanut butter and jelly sandwiches or jelly? Uh, I actually, this is kind of weird. That's a really good question to me. I eat a lot of the PB and J's. And I enjoy more peanut butter than jelly because the, then the jelly starts falling out everywhere, and it's really like it's it's like a it's like a scientific, you know, conundrum whether you need the, the amount of jelly versus the amount of peanut butter. So I don't know the algorithm for that yet, but we're trying to figure that out. We have NASA involved, so we'll we'll I'll elaborate more on that when I have it. But it's definitely more peanut butter than jelly. Next question is, uh, what's your favorite song you enjoy while singing in the shower? Um. I don't know. Uh, I'm I'm really into like uh, Pierce the Veil right now and Reggie Watts. Reggie Watts is probably one of my uh, favorite uh, artists right now. So I would say Reggie Watts is Why You Got a Big Ass Purse. That's a really good tune. Next question is How awesome did it feel playing your uh, first show with the band at the Ace of Spades? Uh, honestly, I can't even. Words can't describe how amazing it was. Um, I only had a couple of days to really rehearse the songs with the guys, so I mean there was a lot of uh, pressure on me before the show. Once I hit that stage and the audience, you guys, the fans, uh, the reception was so amazing that you know everything just kind of clicked. Uh, I haven't been on stage in about six years, so I missed it. It's literally what I've lived for since I was nine, and it was unbelievable. And all you guys that came to see it, you know, made it so awesome for me and I just want to thank all you guys for you know being so resp responsive to me and you know accepting me as part of the band so it was huge and again it was the coolest thing I, I've done in a long time it was it was really amazing so for show uh, next question is uh, team Jacob or team Edward I'm for sure gonna go with team Edward uh, Jacob's just a little bitch uh, and anybody who in, imprints themselves and goes I'm gonna marry that person with a baby kind of freaks me out a little bit and I've been called a vampire in my past life by a palm reader so I'm going team Edward but I really don't give a shit either way uh, next question is from Jeremy Alfonso uh, how much do you love me I love you this much you can't see it on the video because my arms are too long but that's how much I love you my phone just went off uh, the next question is, what do you do with your hair? And I don't know if you mean that like in a statement where you're asking me, like, what do you do with your hair? And then you forgot the last part, like, if it's on fire or if you just woke up out of, out of bed and there's ants crawling in it or if you have lice. I don't know, but I'm going to take it as like, how do you get your hair to do what it does? Um, my sisters are hairstylists, so uh, I don't know, man. I uh, straighten it. Uh, yeah, straighten my hair for sure. Who doesn't nowadays? And then I use uh, Kenra number 24 hairspray to just spray it up. Um, and it just kind of goes. I mean, I don't know. Ask my hair that question. Maybe he'll have a better answer for you. So uh, next one is, what's your favorite color? Black, obviously. I'm going to do another one just to see. Uh, what's your favorite color? Obviously, it's pink. <laughs> next question is, uh, why did you get started in music? Uh, cause Green Day and I love the sound of the guitar and being able to, you know, express yourself that way. Uh, my mom's a ch uh, children's singer and my dad, uh, was a jazz drummer for many years. So I was around music ever since I was born and it just kind of seemed like, well, this is what I was supposed to do. So the next question is, uh, how close are you with your bro, Maddie? And, uh, you know, why did you join the silver lining? I'm very close with my brother, have been my whole life. Um, super duper close. We're super tight. Uh, and uh, why did I join is because the opportunity arose and you're not not gonna join the silver lightning right is, you know kids get that you're not not gonna get Randy Jackson's autograph how did you become so awesome I don't even know if I am awesome but thank you very much for uh, for stating that I I don't know I just I was born this way yes that was a Lady Gaga reference Next question is, can you sing like your broski or do I just play the bass? I don't even know if I even play the bass, to be honest with you. It, 
It's not even plugged in. There's a guy in the back that actually plays. No, I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, I can sing like my brother, just not as well. He can hit a lot of higher notes than I can. But I can scream and he can't. But I do sound a lot like my brother, uh, which is why I do a lot of the harmonies um, on top of Ben's. We're going to start doing three-part. And then um, I actually play guitar, bass, drums. Uh, I can play a little bit of the banjo. Um, and the mandolin I like to play a lot. And I like to just, you know muck around on the harmonica and the piano as well so i mean i don't know i do everything by ear i can't read music so i just pick stuff up and then just you know figure it out as i go uh the next question is uh because i'm leaving uh because i'm usually leaving the band freshly baked goods of pure magic do you have any food allergies to nuts or dairy um no i don't i don't have any allergies to any foods so and i and i'm actually a fat kid at heart so bring on the goodies uh, last question is from my buddy Adrian. Uh, it's how fat's the rack? <laughs> oh, you wish you knew. You can find out, though. You know where I live. You got my number, buddy. All right, guys. Well, that's about it. Um, I hope I answered all your guys' questions. Um, I just want to, again, say thank you so much for being super responsive. I, uh, I love having all the, you know, being bombarded with questions and being able to answer them for you. Hope you guys got to know me a little bit better. Hope you guys got to get a little bit of a better understanding of why I'm in the band and what I might bring to the band and my influences and all that good stuff. So I just want to say, again, thank you guys so much. I love you all, man. Fuck yeah, rock on. We'll see you guys soon, all right? Get ready for more shit from the Silver Lining. Wow.